Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Welcome back to your Daily Dose. Today we've got a very exciting one. We're headed to a fireworks dessert party, which per person, if you round up $2, cost $100 per person. It was $198 for the both of us. I have never done a dessert fireworks party ever inside the Magic Kingdom. This is my very first one. We're going to get on inside and um, we're going to have some fun. Casey's obviously here. Hello. They've, they're covering up the ferry boat. They actually just like, un, un, I can't talk. They actually debuted these on the 4th of July. It looks like they're doing some extra touches to them. It lights up really cool. So with all that, can't wait to show you guys what this all entails because I don't even know. I do know I think check-ins around seven something, a little bit seven. It's like We're gonna 750, get some. Seven fifty, right? Yeah, we got like Except an hour and a half. Ninety minutes before the fireworks show. We'll go see what it is. But in the meantime, we gotta get some dinner as well. This is everything. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> We're back on a cruise. It is hot. All right, but did you guys see the news? Did you see the news? What news? Today, Disney released like another image of the Disney Treasure, which is their newest oh. ship. Soon gonna be testing. I want to get on that. Nagra will be fun. You Can't gotta wait. show me that picture. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I got you. I'll insert it right here, right over Casey's face. There it is. There it is. As we are taking off here to sea. We did want to let you know there's actually three different fireworks viewings that you can book. There's the one pre-fireworks where you eat all the desserts and then go to the hub for fireworks viewing. There's one during the fireworks where you have the Tomorrowland Terrace seating and then there's one where you watch fireworks first and then you go and eat dessert. So there's three different options every single night. We think we kind of have like the less sought after one. We have the, the yeah. pre, so we're going to be eating then we're going to go into the hub it's gonna be interesting to see how this works because everybody who has the post is already gonna be there, yeah. standing, getting spots. We'll see how easy it is to get a spot. Um, again, it was it was pretty pricey. I think the same prices are for kids as well. Could be mistaken, but um, we'll see what desserts they offer and we'll, check on that. we'll try to do like the the terrace one. I want to try to do that one too. But this is the first time ever I saw it. Usually these things are like sold out months in I've advance. I've never ever ever seen same. them. They pop up in the same dining area where you book regular standard dining reservations you can also book just on their website right so but never saw it before either have i i was like casey let's go because <laughs> we're also here celebrating something but we're keeping it private on what we're celebrating it's good though maybe one day we'll tell you kind of a quick look at the future of the polynesian tower over there they've got a lot of the blue tarps Kind of already off. Looks like they're gonna start closing everything up. I did see them install something all the way up top today, but I think that's as tall as it's gonna get. So now they just gotta do everything else. I looked up the price for the pre and the post party and it's $99 per adult and $59 for children ages three to nine. Tax is already included, but gratuity is not, and it's not required. Um, and also theme park admission is required, so you have to have Magic Kingdom, Park tickets. One other thing is alcohol is included. So drink up my hearty yo ho. We're back at the Magic Kingdom and get this guys, Magic Kingdom is starting to become my favorite park now. I don't know why. What? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Like I'm changing from Hollywood Studios to this. Maybe it's just because it's always packed at Hollywood every time I go. But so is Magic Kingdom, but I don't know why. I'm just happy to be here all the time. I mean, I'm happy to, oh my gosh, I'm digging myself a grave right now. <laughs> Someone lost their birthday girl headband. I don't know. We've arrived. Are they playing like Tiana's music right now? Do you hear that? I can't really piece it together. Sort of kind of sounded like, like New Orleans. I think I was hearing the cavalcade, but I don't think that's what it was. I swear I heard Tiana, I swear. I swear. Did they play one of her songs during the parade? Oh, we, we just missed it. Aww, no. We really like just missed just it. Just missed it. The last character's walking. Kinda got it for you guys. That counts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do they still have 4th of July decorations? Oh, they do. This place is a zoo. Look at this. Oh 
all I can say is I'm happy we don't have to fight for a spot on Main Street tonight. Oh my goodness. I know I like crowds are a little bit worse right now because the cavalcade, but still. I think people just like said, heck with 4th of July, let's yeah. come at, look, this is insane. This is like 4th of July. <laughs> you heard that, right? I agree, yeah. That was funny. I was worried about there being rain, but I think we're clear here tonight. We're good. Casey wants to head into the Emporium to see if... I'm still on the hunt for this one shirt. Okay, let's see if it's here. I don't think they have it. I think it's, I think it's been sold. It's probably gone. Oh, it feels good in here, though. It does. Follow the Casey we go. Follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the Casey we go. That's like my new favorite thing to say, honestly. I didn't find it. I wasn't expecting to, but... Well, we've got an hour until we want to report over to the fireworks, but we're thinking about going a little bit earlier just because 7.50, I feel like everyone's going to show up and there's going to be a line. So we plan on going a little bit earlier. So I feel like that would be just like a big benefit. Spring rolls are open right now. I think we're going to load up some, some spring rolls and... It's a long line. Yeah, maybe something else. Can't mobile order that. We were going to go to Pecos, but... I think there's a new spring roll available. As of last week? Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, I think so. We'll get them both because I love the cheeseburger ones. They're my favorite by far. So good. Spring roll cart. We'll see how long this line takes. Chicken, ham, and cheese is the new one. They're out of it? They're out of cheeseburger ones. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get Pecos after this too. This is okay. gonna fill me up. Yeah. We're just gonna try the new ones. They ran out of cheeseburger. Womp womp. Womp womp, right? right. Here we go. We got the new ones, chicken, ham, and cheese. Cheese is a secret ingredient for me. Anything with cheese, Kyle will be there. I'm such a cheese head. I am. You are too now. Yes, I am. Um, speaking of cheese, well, actually this has nothing to do with cheese. Merida actually <laughs> now meets over here during the day because her old meet and greet place is now getting turned into Maribel. So she'll be meeting here. I don't know for how long it's going to be a permanent thing, but you can catch her in this area now. This is normally where Santa meets, right? During Christmas parties? No, isn't this where Jack meets? They, they mix it up every year. Oh. Wow, they look like the regular spring rolls. I think we should try without honey mustard first so we actually I get like agree. the regular taste. Ooh, it's very hot. Cheers. Here we go. Okay, cheers. Get a, get a good bite. Mmm. Not bad. It's actually really good. Mm. I know exactly what this tastes like. It tastes like a Hot Pocket. <laughs> Love it? Yeah, but don't Hot Pockets have um, sauce? I don't know. Like marinara sauce? Reminds me of a Hot Pocket. Mm. Not bad. It's actually really good. Not bad. Cheeseburger, well, cheeseburger one I feel, still think wins. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's banging though. I don't mind it. It's like a Hot Pocket. So I tried it with the honey mustard. The honey mustard is good. Like I love honey mustard, but I think it overpowers it a little bit and you just taste the honey mustard. I mean, if you like honey mustard, eat it, but I think it's better without because you just get a honey mustard taste. Too overpowering. Thank you guys so See you guys. Yeah. See you later. I always wanted, I always wanted to have my own <laughs> Holy cow, I just ran into so many of you guys. It's literally the best ever. Also, Brooklyn, she jumped around. You, you'll see her at the yeah. end. Brooklyn Should I return? Is a star. I gotta return the jump around. Like return, you have return. To, it. I you usually you only have to? if they bring it up, that's when I'll do it. But I feel like if you guys want to be in the video, you gotta ask me and jump around like that. Anyways, our pagos is ready. We gotta hurry up. We only have like 30 minutes. We can eat fast. We're used to that. Magic Kingdom definitely gets more packed as the night goes on. Way different story after two o'clock. It's a different beast now. Pecos Bill, long time no see. We really haven't ate here in forever. Mulbar though, it's the best thing ever. I was just gonna say that. I used to love getting the taco bowl where you just got the shell and the meat and you could come here and just do all the toppings. No more. Oh, so sad. You know, after COVID, they never brought this back. I wish they would, but probably was too expensive. Mobile pickup's gonna be over here to the right. They do actually have a lot of stands or uh, cash reps open for non-mobile. Mobile's the best way to go. I always tell you guys that. Oh, Serve so the platter. Mm, I don't 
uh, those beans look not I'll eat, I'll eat them. Always a great pleasure to try to find a place here, but I do have a secret spot. Kind of. Look at all these people, it's crazy how packed it gets here. Come to the outpost. I swear no one ever knows to come on over here. And look at this. Perfecto. We got the train coming by too. I love the ambiance sounds. Alright, so we've got the pork. Honestly, now that I'm looking at the pork, I think chicken would have been better. I could have sworn. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I said that we should get the chicken. Yeah, I know. Like, the chicken's not good. The beans, I don't, I don't know. Rice looks good. Fajitas and onions looks great as well. Just we're missing cheese and sour cream. Like, who eats tacos or fajitas without cheese and sour cream? If you do, guys, I'm sorry. You're you're a little weird. You're a little weird. Mmm, oh, no. the rice is good. Pork is actually pretty good. It's pretty juicy. Price is averted. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be that good, but it's not Ooh, bad. Yeah, that's it's not really bad. Good. We messed up, we gotta switch. Casey's a lefty. I think we might need to ask for the sour cream and cheese, but I'm serious, I'm still on this tangent. I feel like they should give you another plate too. It'd be so good with cheese and sour cream. I think it's pretty good. I had to stand because these chairs made me feel very short. I felt like I was a small kid at the big kids table. It's almost about time to start heading on over for the fireworks. I'm very curious to see what they're gonna have there for the desserts, for the drinks. And again, it's all you can theoretically eat. And just the, the, like the time steps, how are they gonna take us on over to the hub, which is I believe where they're, we're gonna be going. Um, so I guess it's all good to know. We'll see, we'll see. Again, this is my first experience, so this might blow me away. So we've got about 15 minutes until we, we wanna start heading on over there. We wanna go to Haunted Mansion, because Haunted Mansion has something interesting going on. Today's a good night so far because we had our appetizer, we had our entree, and now we're going for dessert for the after party. First of all, look at this madness at the Haunted Mansion. Second of all, August 7th through the 9th, Haunted Mansion is going to be going down for refurbishment. And we don't know what it is, but we believe it's going to be for the installment of the Hatbox Ghost. Right after the attic scene, that's where it's getting installed. Definitely after 2 p.m., this place is uh, turning into a madhouse, which I can kind of see why they have the park hopping rule so you have a better experience in the, in the morning because at night so far, this is kind of crazy. All right, time is 7.30. We're gonna show up now to see if they let us on in a little bit earlier because we want to technically beat everybody else showing up just so we can, you know, get our food. We want to get there first. Oh yeah, sure enough, they've got some refurb walls up. New meet and greet. We'll be coming here. Maribel. Took me the longest time to, to know her name. Maribel? Mir Mir Mirabel? I say Maribel. It's uh, Mirabel. Ah. Yeah. Look at that shot. Wait, I gotta get it. Beautiful. Did you say it was Maribel? Or Mirabel? Mira. Mirabel? Wow. That's gorgeous. So this is gonna be your fireworks viewing. This is the only one. The other side of the hub is reserved for VIP viewing. So the people who have the post party are gonna be in here prior to my knowledge is what I believe is gonna be happening. So we'll see how this, this unfolds. In the meantime, we're gonna go check in. I wonder we can. if they section this off though and they're like, if you're here for the post one and you're on this side. That'd be nice. We'll find out. That's what I would do. I'm thinking we're too early, but look, there's actually people up there already. Also, just thinking about how fun this is going to be because I always pass by that viewing area and I'm like, oh, that'd be so nice. Oh, you can go. Sh you, can, the night. you can go earlier. Yeah. Look at that. They're already up there. Whoa. All right, guys, you can show up earlier from your time. Here we are. We get to actually do this. Let's go. Magic Kingdom fireworks desserts party. Pre-party seats and sweets, and then there's a post party. So is there not one during? I don't know. I don't know. I might have spread some false information there. Let's go. That's gonna be for the post party as well. Or check-in is right over here. I think. Yeah, I think it is. Here we go. First time I've ever done this. Check in earlier, guys. Check in earlier, and here we go. It looks like Sophia is gonna take us on to our seats. And here's everything that we get to have. It smells good. Oh my gosh, they have like a, your own charcuterie board over there. And the sweets. And here's where we are going to be tonight. Well, not during the viewing, obviously. This is us 
right now. Oh, is this champagne? Sparkling cider? Oh, still that's fun. Check out this. Oh, we're right in the middle. So they uh, gave us this so people don't take our spot. But let's go up, I guess. Also, yeah? we get wristbands. So it says pre-party. Is this to know that we're 21, I believe? Yep, yes. we're 21. Yep. All right, let's go see what we got. This is so exciting, guys. I've never done this before. Let's see what they all have. We can start with this little kid station. Decorate your own cookies. Wait, for real? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. We've got some chocolate chip cookies. Use the tongs, guys. Some sugar cookies. Birthday cupcake. Got a celebration cupcake. Looks like Grumpy is on top of that. And if you guys heard Casey, you can uh, sprinkle and icing your cookies if you want. I think we're gonna save that for last. That's that little portion over here, but then we have the big portion of looks like sweets all here for us. They have chocolate covered strawberries. I'll be eating like 15 of those. We've got chocolate silk pie. Oh my gosh, cookies and cream cheesecake mousse. See that? Chocolate covered strawberries. I don't think I've ever seen chocolate covered strawberries on Disney property, so that's a new thing. I've, I've, I've never seen that. We've got a chilling chamber pot. We've got tres leches. That looks nummy. We've got some devil's chocolate pudding. Firehouse donuts, which you can actually get some strawberries in with that. Butterscotch pudding with caramel popcorn on top. Key lime tarts, assorted fruits, assorted cheese, and then assorted bread. Lots of assortments here. And then to top it off, we've got some caramel apple crepes, which smells delicious. Casey's got her selections. I always do. And we do have this side, it's just the same, it's a mirror image of what we all just saw. And then here's, oh my gosh, they have Pog Juice, Strawberry Lemonade, Minute Maid Premium Lemonade, Water, and <laughs> Milk. That's so cool, they have Pog Juice here. Joffrey's Coffee, Decaf Joffrey's, and then a hot selection of tea. Here's our alcohol, we've got Blue Moon, Bud Light, Champagne, We've got Moscato, Red Blend, and then Chardonnay. Again, you can have as much as you want. You don't see that on Disney property too often. Maybe that's why it's $100 per person. Look at this, they fill it all the way to the top too. Thank you. I haven't gotten any desserts yet. <laughs> I got my blue moon though. How is everything? I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I was like, I can't let it get cold. No, you can't. So far, so good. One beer is the limit. They have Chardonnay up there too. And champagne. This is really cool because it's like a, a pop-up. What do you call those, a push-up? You know, as a kid? <laughs> that was fun just doing that. That was like a cake brownie. But honestly, I'm here for the, the strawberries. Strawberries are good. Those are good. Oh my god. Just gonna eat a million strawberries. This is the best thing so far. The cheesecake thing is good too. Now, since they have pog juice up here, I feel like I'm allowed to bring this up. I really wish they had the gray stuff here. Pog juice for the win. Like, where else do you get to do this? I mean, you can do it at Ohana. We're here so early, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. We could theor theoretically go on a ride. Because they walk us over at 9. Because I don't foresee myself sitting here for a whole another hour. But I think Casey and I are gonna do that. We don't know what we're doing. We're kind of just vibing. Yeah, we can leave and come back. If you want to sit here and drink, you can. You can treat it like Epcot, but eh. I don't think we're gonna do that. Obviously, this is a sugar-filled event, so don't come empty stomached. This is good cider. Reminds me of um, Halloween. Don't get the champagne. Champagne is a miss, in my opinion. It's like, it's like a shark bite. It just bites you. Awesome, so we saw what we wanted to see. We For ate now. what we wanted to eat. We're gonna try to get on a ride here because you can actually leave whenever you want. We're gonna, we're just gonna go with the flow here, but we just wanted to tell you guys our experience as we're walking on over here into Tomorrowland. 
it's a very fun atmosphere at that so it is a little bit louder to be expected because it's like you know a huge area um you do have the sunset setting behind so if you're facing that way you're gonna get beam with sun i and like your sunglasses and your sunscreen i liked everything that i had the the champagne was a kind of a miss for me um beer guys chug it it's a chugger um anything casey um i really enjoyed it i did notice that well when you check in they actually ask if you have any allergies and we saw a couple tables around us they brought different plates out so they are very allergy friendly my one thing is i wish that there were a few more options outside of the desserts mm. now i know it's a dessert party but i can only eat so many same same they did have cheese but like maybe like some Cheeseburger spring, spring rolls. That'd be nice. Because those were on our mind, so that's why I thought about that. But I really I would like the gray time. stuff. The gray stuff would have been nice there. Yeah. Um, but that's pretty much everything that they had. The chocolate covered strawberries I was not expecting, although so it did actually good. say that on the website after I looked when we sat down. Best thing by far. 100%. By far. So good. I would. By I think far. that's worth it in itself. We want to try to get on the people over here one, uh, one, one time on sunset, and we're going to make our way back here. Now, I guess to kind of wrap it up, even though we still have the fireworks viewing to go to tonight, you're theoretically just paying for that ease of mind that you have a firework viewing. Casey, do you think it's worth $100 per person? I would say if you can pack down a lot of sweets, if you're a sweets person, then it's 100% worth it. I think once we have the fireworks viewing, then we'll be able to really make a decision. That's fair. That's fair. We'll give, we'll, we'll give your thoughts after the fireworks. Again, the nice thing is you can be sitting there right now. You know, more families are going to take longer. We kind of just got in and got done. Show up early and you'll be the same. People Mover is long right now. I think it's down. Oh, no, it's not. Well, People Mover has a three hour wait. Not really, but the line's really long. So there is like even a line to get into the line. We don't want to risk it. You don't see that very often at People Mover. Here's the end of the line. We're not gonna have enough time for that, so I think we're just gonna enjoy a peaceful walk. Wanna go over by Tron? Sure, I haven't seen it in a while. Does anybody find it weird that we left the dessert party? I kind of feel a little bit weird that we left, but we did everything. Just... Yeah, I feel like we went a little too early. Yeah. So maybe you don't necessarily like you don't necessarily need that much time there. Not really. I don't think you need to show up early, honestly. Again, unless you can pack down those desserts. <laughs> yeah. No judgment. Yeah. We can't. Casey, listen to this. Personally, Casey can uh, contest to this. Is that the right word? Word contest. Yeah. I have a hard time sitting down for one in one spot for a long time. No. <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah. First time ever hearing that. Crazy, right? Crazy. Hey, girl. Can I have your number? You already have it. <laughs> Call me. All right, Casey and I are just gonna do a lovely walk around here, and uh, I'm gonna cut to the fireworks because that's why we're here. See how that operates. We got 45 minutes. We're are gonna you enjoy. Ready for it to begin? I uh, am, yeah, Jordan Fisher. Looks like they're already allowing people on into the fireworks, so we're gonna do the same. Hopefully we can get in, because we're technically I, supposed to be at a party right now. I don't know if they're just... Oh, I There's see them. They're in. blocking the yeah. area, so let's see if they'll let us in. Let's go see it. All right. You may see it anywhere you like. Just make sure you leave front and back while we free. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. We're headed on in. We didn't even need to get escorted over here, and I say go towards the back. I think the back is way better. This is going to be so nice. It is. So this is obviously a perk, you know? You don't have to wait. You can have somebody in here. It's not going to be overly crowded. We'll see how crowded it does get. But I'm going to be back here. Did she say we can't sit on this? You're not able to sit on the concrete. I believe it's just the grass. They said keep the walkways clear. Looks like there's actually a customer up there doing trivia with the little kiddos. I think they're giving out little prizes or stickers or something. My prize is to go back and get another beer. You can't bring beer here though, guys. You have to leave everything behind, unfortunately. But hey. We're here 50 minutes early. 5-0? Five, 5-0. Zero? Five, zero. Oh, I haven't even been looking at the time. Should we go get a drink? <laughs> I mean... No, no, actually no, no, no. Side note, guys, if you do sit here, down here during the fireworks, it's actually 115 instead of 99, so it's actually a premium. Would you rather do this or the hub where we're going to see them? Here's what it looks like 40 minutes until the fireworks. 
So it does get pretty packed pretty fast. favorite part. Let me fix that. Boom. That was fun. It was really nice being able to have space around us. So if you want that, it's kind of worth it. It's just I, expensive. It is expensive, but I was saying that I have never seen the projections that close before. And we had so much space around us. I think that in itself. So many people. We have no oh space gosh. now. We don't. We don't. I miss our fireworks viewing. It was good though? I loved it. I had the best time. Compared to July 4th, this is nothing. I feel like if we can conquer leaving on July 3rd, it was July 3rd, we can do anything. This is great. It's like a straight shot to the ferry boat right now. It is, it's actually when they use the second gangway too, so it's exciting. Super exciting. Actually, apparently not. They don't use the second gangway, see that? I have never seen them use it this year. Okay. We're actually using the second gangway to, to get off. This always reminds me of the scene from War of the Worlds. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? My magic band fell off! My magic band fell off! Someone lost their magic band. That's you hear that? All right, everybody. That is going to be it for your daily dose. Hope you enjoyed this one because we sure did. Yes, we did. I would say that was probably the best fireworks thing I've ever seen. For Did sure. I would. It was awesome. Give it a try if you can. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jump around! Jump around! Jump around! Perfect! Can I get a high five? Thank nice. You guys so much for stopping.